Hey, what is up, punks? My name is Football Script, and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. As you all might have noticed, or you might not, and here's your chance to find out, you will be getting new content soon as well as new creepy pastas. So I thought there was no better time than to do a top five of my favorite Call of Duty creepy pastas. Side note, actually two side notes. The first one is these are all ones that I have done. They are original content to me and they are none of the other content creators Call of Duty Creepypastas. It just so happens that all the ones that I made are my top five favorites. And the second little side note is I'm going to give you all a little bit of backstory to each and every single one of these. That way if you're a diehard fan of the channel and the Creepypastas you might learn something from it. And also if you haven't seen one of my top five ones that I'm about to list, Links are in the description to get you caught up before the new season of Creepypastas come out. With that being said, let's get to it. Number 5. Soul and Destroy Soul and Destroy holds a special place in my heart for a lot of reasons. Number 1. I had so many technical difficulties, personal issues, just anything and everything that was thrown at me was thrown at me at the time of trying to make Soul and Destroy. I believe I announced Soul and Destroy sometime around May of 2014 and it did not get its release until June of 2016. There were so many rewrites done and there was just so much done to it and it was arguably one of the hardest creepypastas that I had to push out and I honestly had to force myself to finish it and I'm really glad I did. Also it was the very first one to where it was not a one and done type creepypasta. There was a part two the next Friday and a part three the next Friday. So it was my very first experimentation with doing a sequel upon a sequel upon a sequel. Kind of like you would watch a TV show. You'd have to tune in next week to see how it all worked out in the end. Number four, Games of Hell. Games of Hell holds a special place in my heart as well because I actually co-wrote it. This is the only one on this list that I co-wrote. We did half and half of the work as far as writing goes, but we had to work together because if I didn't like a certain piece and he didn't like a certain piece, we wouldn't put it in. But if I liked a certain piece and he did not, we'd kind of have to work it out. And there was a lot of teamwork that was involved to make Games of Hell Part 1. Um, but at the end of the day, I decided to go forward and make Games of Hell a trilogy of sorts, even though Games of Hell Part 3 isn't out yet. Wink, wink. Number 3, Darius 2. So Darius 2 is one of those personal pieces to me because I was feeling really, really down about someone close to me who died and I was like, I really just need to write. And that was what Darius 2 turned into. Yeah, it was circled around Call of Duty Zombies, but it was a good stress reliever for me to just write and get some emotions out. And again, it's one of the most viewed ones on my channel and I did go on to write a part two. I'm not too sure if I'll write a part three on it. I don't know if I want to make it a trilogy piece like Games of Hell, but we will see. It's one of my more favorite ones because I was inspired to write it because of things that happened to me in my personal life. Number two. Now before I go ahead and I say the name, I would just like to say, whereas five, four, and three all hold a special place in my heart because of what they mean to me as far as me writing the story goes, 2 and 1 hold a special place in my heart and at their respective spots because I just genuinely love the story and the lore that I created for these creepypastas. Number 2 is Respawn. Respawn is a very new creepypasta that I wrote. I think it just recently eclipsed over 1,000 views, which to me is insane because it still shows there's a lot of you out there. But it was a different premise, more so of using like hacking and DDoSing and IP flooding to find out where someone lives and I won't really spoil it if you haven't seen it I just I don't know I love the story it was when so much was coming together it was when my writing got so much better and I just loved the story overall it was also when my thumbnails were getting really really good they were getting on point as the cool kids say I don't know if they really say it but I'm saying it so it's probably not cool but anyway I don't know I just really loved the story of Respawn again I won't get into too many spoilers on it but it was great and I loved it. And number one, if we can get a drum roll please, is Death Gun. Yes, I fucking loved Death Gun. It is arguably my favorite creepypasta that I have ever written Call of Duty wise. I don't know if it is my favorite that I've written totally in general. I would think Project Starstrike is my favorite that I've written in general, but oh my god. From taking a slight at the gambling system that Call of Duty has devolved to, like the supply drops, was great. How I developed characters was great. How I utilized sound effects 
was great. Uh, the thumbnail itself was great. I made a little card for the Vudai BM, and I don't know, I just combined so many different elements into a Call of Duty creepypasta to make it its own little story that yes, it had a Call of Duty thing on it, but it made it so original and so in its own right that that's why it's number one. It's one of the very few ones on this list that I never got frustrated writing it. I never got frustrated editing it. I never got frustrated voice acting it. It was just a fun thing to do all throughout. And it shows because it is not the most viewed one. It's a newer one like Respawn, but it has, I want to say, I know it has over a thousand. It's somewhere along there. Again, I won't spoil it for you. I won't spoil any of these for you. Links will be at the description down below if there's one you haven't seen so you can get caught up. But that was the end of my top five. Guys, comment down below. Let me know if you would like to see another top five. I'd probably do either a top five uh, creepypastas in general that I love, just from other content creators, or another top five of the ones that I've written. But also, comment down below while you're doing that, what was your favorite Call of Duty creepypasta that I have ever done? I'm interested in hearing from you. And remember, new content is coming out soon. I love you guys, and peace out.